if you want to know the best lesbian movies, you should definitely watch our picks for the best ones of 2022. Number 10. Spin Me Round, directed by Jeff Baina. Further evaluating the charismatic cast, Spin Me Round follows a young manager from an American chain restaurant who wins an all-expenses trip to the franchise's educational immersion program in Italy. She gets a chance to meet the restaurant chain's wealthy and charismatic owner, but soon finds her in a different adventure than the one she imagined. You're really <laughs> kind of intense. <laughs> Does it scare you? Kind of. Number nine. Are you new to the building? <laughs> no, 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 not really. I'm just, um, I better go. <laughs> Heatwave is a thriller film directed by Ernie Barbarash. Lesbian passion becomes a dangerous game of seduction and betrayal. When a woman falls for her boss's wife, an intense affair sparks. But soon she gets caught up in a threatening game where she must defend herself from a web of malice. Secrets are revealed and dark motives linking to her past come to light as she fights to defend herself in this sizzling thriller. Time for bed. <sighs> Sorry, I was just leaving, so why? You don't have to run away. Come on in, the water's fine. Number eight. Not with all this shit. It's just armor, you know? Do Revenge is a teen black comedy film directed by Jennifer Caton Robinson, tackling the tropes of a classical high school drama while never taking itself too seriously. Do Revenge follows two young women who each seek their own good old revenge. With a drastic and thorough plot, the very different girls don't realize that their very worst enemy is right in front of them. Here, mine is seeming incredibly secure of myself when in reality my whole I don't give a shit thing is just a front so no one can tell I actually care so much. Seriously. I really like you. Number seven. Do you mind if I sit? Go ahead, yeah. Sissy is a horror thriller film written and directed by Hannah Barlow and Kane Senes. With a timely blend of humor and horror to convince all fans of the genre, Sissy follows Cecilia and Emma, who were destined to be high school BFFs, until they weren't. When they run into each other by accident years later, they embark on a bachelorette party that quickly becomes a nightmare when Cecilia finds herself stuck in a remote cabin. You have the softest hands. <gasps> Thanks. Do you moisturize? Yeah. Um, I, I use this. Number six. Hey, puff face. <laughs> Can you talk for a second? Bodies, Bodies, Bodies is a black comedy slasher film directed by Helena Ragin. With a truly impeccable cast and writing so witty, it exceeds all audiences' expectations. Bodies, Bodies, Bodies turns a harmless party game into a murder mystery. A group of friends is stuck in a mansion while a hurricane ravages outside, and they must find the traitor within, turning their trip into a real-life mystery game. Can you knock? No, it's my house. Sure. What is that? In private. Oh, sure. I'll hear that. Yeah, that's what Tom Hanks said in Castaway. Number five. Girl Picture, directed by Ali Hapasolo. Written with sensitive care and executed even more subtly, Girl Picture captures the tornado of teenage life without sacrificing a deep and mature story. Following two friends working at their local smoothie kiosk, they try to navigate life and sexuality as serious relationships seem impossible to achieve. And do that. Nope. Number four. You Can Live Forever, written and directed by Sarah Watts and Mark Slutsky. Exploring lesbian love in an environment of blindness and infatuation, You Can Live Forever follows a homosexual teen girl who has to move with her Jehovah's Witness relatives after the death of her parents. When romance sparks with another struggling girl, the two must hide their romance before the town separates them. Jehovah, thank you for bringing me Jamie when she needed me most. And when I needed her. 
Number three. What can can you imagine? What suddenly we're we're hardcore making out?、Mm, that just sounds. Come on, really crazy. Crush is a coming of age film directed by Sammy Cohen, exploring queer relationships and coming of age in a school setting. Crush follows talented young Paige, dreaming of becoming an artist. She is furious to be told that she must join her school's track team. However, she soon sees the chance to finally win over her crush, and her plans go awry when she unexpectedly falls for another teammate and sees a possibility for love. Would be just super funny. Yeah, funny like <laughs> this being my first kiss. <laughs> Very funny. Number two. Mark's time. Before we unveil movie number one, here are a few honorable mentions. I don't know. I didn't finish it. Have you thought about anyone else's feelings at all? That's all I've thought about. I don't want to hurt them, and I don't want to hurt you. The slave up your tool to live here. You don't have that at all. If I open my eyes, I'll find the pierre rêve de cul. I'll wake up in the morning. Number one. What do you want? I want you. No. Stop it. Everything, everywhere, all at once is a comedy drama film written and directed by Dan Kwan and Daniel Scheinert. Brought by the weirdest but most wonderful and charming directors, Everything, Everywhere, All at Once is everything its title promises. We follow a struggling and burnt-out woman who discovers that she must connect with parallel universe versions of herself to prevent a powerful being from causing the destruction of the multiverse. The film has been described as a swirl of genre anarchy and shows us what original storytelling can be. Do you agree with our list? Please let us know in the comments. If you want to know more about a particular movie in this list, you can check out our links in the video description. And for more top 10 movie videos, be sure to subscribe to Community TV.